नमस्कार भिवार्स टूडेज टपिक इज मैक फ्लैग न्यू दिस इज ए पोएम अफ एम एजी वन दोज हू आर डुईंग एम ए फ्रम इग्नो एक्चुअली इट इज रिटर्न बै जन ड्राइडन एंड इट वज रिटर्न इन दर सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी एट एंड पब्लिश इन दर सिक्सटीन एट्टी टू मैक फ्लैग नो मैक is one of the four major satires of esteemed english poet john dryden the poem is personal satire that has four that is for its target thomas shadwell another poet who had often dryden with his aesthetic and political leaning it is also literary satire and is considered one of the most famous mock heroic bars says in the english tradition It has 218 lines of rhyming couples. The poem grew out of a long-standing debate that Dryden and Shadwell had over the nature of comedy. During the Restoration, Shadwell was considered a playwright of considerable brilliance, but Dryden did not agree with this assessment. In Dryden's opinion, Shadwell was a superb poet and dramatist who believed much too highly of himself dryden uses macflack new to point this out highlighting throughout the satire and ridiculousness of shadwell's self indulgence now uh, we should see the characters uh, which are in the poem macflack new macflack new In the poem Richard Flacknoe is the first character and uh, Richard Flacknoe was an English dramatist and the poet his work was ridiculed by Dryden as well as poet Andrew Marvell The second character is uh, most most important one Shadwell Thomas Shadwell is the target of Dryden's satire and Derision in Mac Flacknoe Shadwell was an English dramatist and poet laureate Then third is Augustus then fourth Thomas Howard and James Shelley and There are many characters like uh, Arion Ascanius John Singleton Maximins John Fletcher Ben Jonson Charles Stu Sir Charles Sedley Thomas Dekker Sir Jos Etherig Henry Herringman Oliver Cromwell ST Ender hmm like this many characters are there now uh we should see the uh, exact uh, topic of Mac Mac Flacknoe This poem identifies itself as a satire of which the subject is the true blue protestant poet TS referring to the poet Thomas Shadwell. The first line of the poem creates the illusion of its being an epic poem about a historical hero. The next line talk about Mac Flacknoe, a monarch who instead of ruling an empire rules over the realm of nonsense. the king old the king is old and thus must choose a successor to his throne dryden wonders whether the king will choose a poet who has talent and wit or if he will choose someone like him a man with no literary talent in this uh, in this first pair we can see that uh, the flecknu uh, the king flecknu became old that's why he wanted to choose a ruler uh, after him who can um, rule the kingdom then flacknu decides upon his own schedule son schedule a man with no talent and who is tedious stupid and always at war with wit schedule is also described as a very corpulent man so flacknu's words the word continues in to insult Shadwell in a mock heroic tone calling him a dunes 
the last great prophet of totology and for an man dullness he was made shadow arabs in london outfitted like a king and lauded by the people flagno chooses for his son's throne neighborhood and brothels and theaters birthing bread actors inside those places real drama does not exist only simple plays are welcome dryden also alludes to some of the historical schedules plays like absolon well psyche and mocks another contemporary writer singleton who is envious that he wasn't chosen as successor to the throne it is clear that in this environment schedule will rule over those who have no literary talent the description dryden offers only serves the purpose of highlighting the incompetency of schedule and create the image of a fool ruling over peasants the next part is uh, as the coronation begins Dryden described the streets as filled with the limbs of other poets, suggesting that Shadwell managed to get a hold on his opinion at the expense of talented writers. Once more, the poet mentions human waste and links it with Shadwell's writing and compares him with the historical figure Hannibal. To suggest that Shadwell's purpose is to destroy wit and replace it with dullness, during his coronation, the oil used to anoint a new king is replaced by ale here ale means alcohol signifying the poet's dullness after the crown is placed on his head shadow seats on the throne and the far former king prepares to give the cheering crowd a speech the here the the speech given by the flacnoy it was uh, very big or we may say that very lengthy the former king begins by presenting the land over which the new king will rule the territory where no one lives flacnu asks his son to remain true to his writing and to not let anyone make any changes in his work flacnu praises schedule's abilities and then ends his speech by telling schedule to continue to remain dull and to avoid trying to be like johnson flacnu concludes by exhorting his son not to focus on real plays but rather to work on acrostics his last word are cut off and he sinks below the stage his mantle falls on schedule which is appropriate because he has twice as much as much talent as his father thank you uh, if you like this class then you can share do subscribe my channel thank you